Beer Tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at a pretty cool beer. This one is by Rodenbach, or the Palm Breweries, and this is their Rodenbach Vintage 2012. Now, you probably, if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably remember this beer. Um, or other vintages of it. I reviewed this back in, oh, no, 2011, and I reviewed the 07 and 08 vintages, and I loved both of them. And for some reason, I stopped reviewing newer vintages after those two. I, I don't know, because I've been able to get them, and I really like the Rodenbach vintage beers, but for some reason, I just never got around to picking them up. I, I tried them in tastings and stuff, but I just never got around to it. Well, then, today, I went to my local beer shop, and I saw they got them in 375 milliliter bottles that weren't as expensive, <laughs> and I thought, what the hell, let's try this and review the, review the newest vintage. This one has been in barrel number 170, and if you don't know this series, guys, it's basically Rodenbach make Flemish red ales. This is a Flemish red ale, a sour from Belgium, and basically what they do is that they take and blend the best batches that they do of Rodenbach Grand Cru, which is one of their more popular, whoa, that's stuck in there, sour beers. Get ready for a pop. Boom! <laughs> Look at that smoke, that's awesome. Uh, oh, that smells awesome. I haven't had fresh Rodenbach Grand Cru in a while. I had an aged 2008 bottle not too long ago, and I must say, I actually don't prefer aging Rodenbach vintage beers too long. I probably, I think I said a Grand Cru, but I don't prefer aging them too long because the complexity and sourness really fade which is very interesting. Wow, it smells so good. It's like, wow, it's, I can smell it in the room. Uh, really cool series of beer though. Blend the best of the best that, of the Grand Cruise. And uh, yeah, so, I also really like that they did a small bottle this year. Uh, I think I can also get the new dispatch of Cartier Rouge, or it will be available soon. So if you want to see that, let me know guys. But we have it poured here. Nice, hazy. Kind of copper reddish color. It looks like the Rodenbach uh, Vintage series. Man, it smells awesome. Also, if you don't didn't know, guys, it's aged in uh, oak barrels and on seven percent, by the way. Nice kind of base head to it. Let's take out the aroma. Oh man, I haven't had this in so long. This is just wow. <laughs> this is just like memories from when I started the channel. <laughs> back oh, well, that was back in '09, but 2011 when I reviewed this for the first time with him, like my friend. Wow. Um, aromas on there. Sour cherry, sour raspberries I'm getting. Almost like a candied strawberry aroma. Oh, it smells good. Oak, wood. There's almost like a slight vanilla edge to it. A red grape, um, slight red grape aroma. And really smells like balsamic vinegar, actually. That's usually what I get in some Flemish red ale. It's making my saliva go crazy, by the way. Um, yeah, tart red berries. It's got a very, like, sweet, bright berry, candy-like sweetness to it, actually. It's a really cool mix of sweetness and sourness, on the aroma, at least. It smells mouth-watering. Let's give this shit a taste. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Damn, that is so good. I haven't had this fresh in so long. It's like drinking candy, it sweet, sour thingy. It's weird. Um, I don't know if some people hate comparing beer to candy, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, nice kind of medium mouthfeel, it's kind of dry, but also kind of coating and silky. Flavors on there, again, cherry, a raspberry, almost like a candied strawberry. And it's also got that kind of balsamic vinegar taste to it. And it really also is like some brown sugar sweetness. It's And it's also quite vinous or vinous, or whatever you say. Actually, the more it tastes it, you're getting like those oaky, tanniny, wine type flavors with some grape, but just like lots, it's much more fruity and tart. This is, for me, I think this is great gateway beer for wine lovers. If you love wine, please try and check out some Oldenbach Vintage because it has so many similarities to wine. It's just more tart and refreshing. 
Um, wow, yeah, this is really good. Holden Bike usually doesn't, uh, don't, uh, yeah, they usually never disappoint when it comes to the vintage and series. And also the cocktail rouge beers. But yeah, this is awesome. Love the complexity, all those kind of tart, refreshing flavors. You're not tasting the 7%. Rodenbach's vintage series are probably some of the best examples of really good Flemish Old Boim or Flemish Red Ale. It's called Flemish Sour Ale for a catch all term, I guess. Um, it's one of the best you can get. I'm gonna go 95. It is just so good and so complex. And I think I actually prefer this fresh. I can't, I, I think I gave it like 198 back in the day, but you know your palate's changed and there are different type of beers you prefer and all that. But it's fun to go back and try something like this again. Uh, man, it's been ages. But <laughs> guys, definitely let me know what you think of the 2012 vintage from Wolfenbach if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is there a beer you think that's better in the style of Flemish Old Boom than, or like a pinnacle example of the style than this? I'd love to hear that. Let me know, guys. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna say cheers and see you in another beer review.